Okay, so this is gonna be definitely a lot of ranting, um, and I'm sorry if I seem off. Uh, in this video, I did one yesterday, and I pretty much had like a full-on mental breakdown just from, I think, severe stress, stress and anxiety, and um, the what's been going on. You know, I can make a mountain out of a molehill, so I am going to try to get my ass up early and call the dentist. And again, I I was so confused. On this whole situation because like, like I said I haven't had any pain nothing like that it's just kind of the taste which is semi going away um, I don't know if it's from vitamins from stress whatever I've been on the same vitamins but I'm just gonna call tomorrow to see if I can't weed that out I mean I was so and I feel like it goes day to day from stress levels but I don't know many people that uh, have legitimately not left their house I mean I leave my house once a week for you know unless I have to go to Walmart which you know might take an hour but legitimately being in the store I was telling my friend um because we'll sit in the backyard and I was like dude I really don't know what it's from or if it's from not going out and she kind of laughed she's like dude she's like yeah it's kind of nuts like you're the only person I know that legitimately has not been leaving your house and I'm talking about I mean there's nowhere to go out but legitimately like not walking around not doing anything so I'm sure it's severely unhealthy also to just stare at your phone all the time and watch you know tv and whatever so i'm sure that has a lot to do with my mental state but you know i just i mean everybody's different because sometimes i see people online that again i don't know their actual lives but you know they're always just in the house that you know you see on social media so i'm just like how are you guys not going insane but i am hoping because a lot of people around here said that they can't get into their dentist offices because they're closed so i'm really really hoping they can get me in and it's maybe I just need to get a tooth pulled and that that'll be that that'll be awesome because it's hard enough already and I feel like I didn't want to upload that video yesterday because I was bitching so much and it was just out of complete stress and um anxiety because I know everybody's going through it but whenever you definitely can't leave your house you do try to take the little things you know like half the time whenever I first wake up I'm just like already annoyed because I the anxiety just overwhelms me but I'm truly trying, trying to take it day by day um and do what I can uh I did go to the grocery store today and it's pretty fucked up that like whenever you try to eat any any type of healthy way for me it's more expensive um I wanted to talk about uh fucked up lifetime movies I don't know why but I just really that had on my mind but I told you guys I wanted to try to cut out a lot of carbs, which we all know if you go to the grocery store, that's the cheapest thing to buy. You know, pastas, pasta sauces, uh, bread. I know I said pasta sauces, you know, it comes out sometimes. But so I got a thing of chicken breast, a big thing. I think that was damn near $10. Chicken wings, damn near $10. Because uh, that's just what I wanted today. I just really wanted some wings. Um, a bag of tilapia in the frozen section. That was about 8 bucks. And some turkey meat that I don't know what the fuck I'm going to use it for. Um, I got Matt eats SpaghettiOs because he's five years old. But, th I mean, those are cheap. I had to get paper towels. I mean, legitimately, I did not get an abundance of stuff because I got some produce. They were out of pretty much everything. But the only thing I got for myself, meaning um, in a can, I got black beans, spinach, I got two cans of spinach and a um, bag of it. So I'm just trying, I'm just going to try my best to eat like, oh, in the frozen section, I got some more broccoli, but I'm going to try really hard to just do like broccoli fit, whatever, just for a week, just to see if that, um, excuse me, if that does anything better. Also, I would, I would like to lose some weight while I have the time to, you know, whatever discipline. I don't know. Anyway, so I wanted to talk about Lifetime movies, and I don't know why I thought of this. Maybe because I watched this movie today. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the word. Acrimony, maybe? I said that right the first time. It's got Taraja P. Henson, I think that's her name. Um, and I don't even know why, because I really don't like Tyler Perry movies. I think they're so... And this movie, okay, if you, it's on Hulu, so I would watch it. It's kind of It reminds me of, like, a Lifetime movie. The premise is, like, ridiculous, and it's so far out there. I don't understand, like... I understand how Tyler Perry kind of took off his Medea because it's it's funny, it's over the top, and I know it was a play at first, right? But his movies are always so far out there. It almost, okay, it's like a, you, have you guys seen those fucking videos on uh, Facebook? It's like Darman. I 
who else? My butt cheek clenches so tight from the cringe that I can't take it. And I'm like, you got me fucked up if you think... You know he goes through every comment because all the comments are like, you inspire me. Oh my God, I can't with his fucking videos. And you know he thinks he's like doing God's work or some shit. So the most recent one that I saw was about the coronavirus. And it was about people hoarding stuff. And so, and like every actor is the same. And he has those horrible fucking wigs. Like that one white bitch that's in all of his videos. One, she had this horrendous uh, wig on. I'm like, bro, you get like 50 million views. Can you at least go somewhere other than Party City to get a fucking gray wig? So the, the lady that plays, always that plays like the maid or something, she's walking through a car parking lot, I assume, of his building, you know, because he, he, he's like, fuck budget. Um, we're doing this in my parking garage because fuck you all. I'm keeping all the money. Anyway, this guy com comes rolling through with a cart of all the shit. And the lady's like, oh, my God, you have needles. I have diabetes, please. And he's like, fuck you, bitch, you know, because, of course, that's how real people act in the world. Um, and then he starts reselling the stuff in the parking garage. All right, and of course everything is like $50. Like a roll of toilet paper is $50. Like it's so dumb. Um, and the lady buys the needles, you know, and she's like, but she's like, you mark them up by five. Anyway, so he gets a phone call from his mom and um, he gets there and she's, you know, <coughs> he's like, mama, what's wrong? And she's like, well, you see. And then they go back to this far story. Apparently she had to go to the store to get diabetic needles and within a half hour, she's deathly ill on her bed, so. I can't with this shit. Uh, that one and then the one where the lady works at the retail store and somebody comes in, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. And the lady's like, fuck you, broke ass. You're wearing sweatpants to the Versace store. I hate his videos. I can't. Uh, Cody Co. did a video where he was reacting to it and making fun of it. And it was I wish he would do more of that because it's so dumb. Oh, my God. Like, it's, it's so bad. Anyway, so, yeah, the movie Acrimony. Um, I won't give any spoilers. I don't know how new it is. I just happened to see it. So I watched it. Uh, but the premise is so ridiculous. Like at first I thought it was going to be, it was like slow, but good. Um, and then at the end I'm like, okay, Lifetime. But do you guys remember the old school Lifetime movies? This is, was one of my favorites with She's Too Young. Um, I can't think of any, well, uh, the girl that played Emma from Degrassi, I can't think of her name, Miriam McDonald, I guess, uh, she's in that movie, a couple other, I don't know, and at least in this one, the girls, like, that they're playing in high school, they actually look like they're in high school, but basically it's about, like, a bunch of sluts that, um, you know, it's about sex in high school, and they do have the full movie on YouTube, look up She's Too Young, and I think it's probably 2005-ish, so basically, like, you know what, mm, was the was the guy that's fucking everybody, was he in Halloween? No. He's in something. Um, but yeah, basically like every, a bunch of people get syphilis and it's about like thoughts in high school and stuff. But it's actually a really good movie. The one that I thought was super stupid, but I watch all the fucking time. If, if it's ever on or I can find it. Oh my god, I have another one. Okay, so what's it called? It's, uh, it's got Alexa Vega in it and... Um, she's best friends with this girl and then all of a sudden like but her friends of course like the popular one and the rich one and they start kind of bullying her god damn it what the hell is that movie called if you look up lifetime movie alexa Vega, it'll pop up in immediately but it's so dumb because in every movie like they can't ever be realistic about standards you know like um they start making fun of her, of Alexa Vega, and they're like, wow, what a porker. And, you know, she, there's a scene where she goes in the bathroom and lifts up her shirt and she has to grasp onto any skin she has. I'm like, can you actually have a porker? Like, at least somebody my size that actually has a stomach, like, that, that would actually be hurt by being called fat. If I was Alexa Vega and I'm trying to, like, grasp onto whatever, you know, six-pack I have, and I'm just like, oh, my God. And in every Lifetime movie or any movie in general, whenever a girl gets made fun of or she's hurt, she has to run into the bathroom and just start chopping off her hair. Like, what the fuck does that do? Like, what, what, I mean, I guess you wouldn't run into the bathroom and like start shaving your asshole or something, but why would you run in the bathroom and just be like, oh my God, start, start like chopping my hair. I can't stand that. There's so many fucking movies that bitches do that and I just don't understand. Um, and she, she tries to kill herself with like a bunch of like aspirin or like baby aspirin or something um over bullying I can't with movies like that it's so over the fucking top and <laughs> I don't know I don't get it uh me and Matt were even talking about this I'm like okay I remember bullies in high school but 
I mean, I, most people that I thought were mean to me were the people that were like my friends, you know, like they would make comments about my size or my acne or something like that. It was people that I thought were my friends, not anybody that would, I don't, I don't think anybody, or did I see a fat person walking down and somebody just start oinking at them? Um, oh, I was watching another movie the other day. It was called Speak and it's got Kristen Stewart in it. She's super young. Uh, basically about this girl, like she's going to high school but the summer before, she had gotten raped at a house party and called the cops. And apparently the whole school fucking hates her, apparently. Um, you know, she walks in the first day of high school and, and people are whispering. They're like, is that her? I'm like, oh my God, please. Like, as that happens. Um, and she walks in the cafeteria and people start oinking at her because she called the cops. I'm like, right. Um, you know, it's ridiculous. Maybe I just, maybe I just was very unknown, but I would be so... I mean, high school is different. If I walked into a room right now and people just started oinking at me, I'd be like, right. Uh, what's another? I feel like, oh, the one that I love that is so, hopefully you guys are just cleaning and you're not really like paying much attention. You're just having, you know, me as noise. Get my bougie drink. This is such an ugly color on camera. These are frozen pineapples floating. Size queen. Is that what it's called? No, it can't be called Side Screen. Fuck off. It's got Nikki Blonsky in it. And I think it was like one of her first movies. This is around the time she did Hairspray, which is fucking horrible. That John Travolta Hairspray was atrocious. But I think it's called, or uh, basically it's this fat girl that like as a joke, she gets nominated for Homecoming Queen. And she's like, I can do it. Fuck off. And uh, her best friend Maggie's a piece of shit. But the funny parts in the movie is, of course, like, of course, it's surrounded by food because it's about it's the premise of hers being overweight. But the way that they do this bitch is so wrong. So she has like a bad day and she runs in the house. And you know how in movies, they'll, there'll be a scene, but they'll do the take of it three times. Like if I did this, but they'll replay it three times. Uh, she runs in the house and rips open the refrigerator door like a fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex. And she grabs like ice cream and she rips it up. She's like, <sighs> and then like she, uh, the part where she puts a spoon in her mouth, they replay it three times. I'm like, damn, you really did her dirty. And it's like, I didn't know like every fat person, you know, apparently keeps Snickers under their bed or like a whole stash in their drawer. I feel like that's such a movie thing. And she gets depressed and she pulls out like the worst snack ever. It's like a big nasty snowball. You know, those snowballs you get, um, I've always wanted to like them because they're so pretty, but you know, then it's her like, like dramatically taking a big chomp out of the fucking snowball. Yeah. Uh, I think she gets mood at too. That's a big thing. The director's like, all right, now when she walks in, moo. I'd be so pissed off if I was casted at that and they're like, by the way, you, you're going to get mood at. It's so ridiculous. Um, I really haven't been watching any newer movies. Acrimony. I'm probably not even pronouncing that right. It was the only new movie that I've watched. Um, I guess I'm going to start watching Ozark, even though I really don't want to, because I just don't care. But a lot of people, I feel like if I don't start watching it, I'm going to f see a spoiler and it's going to piss me off. And then I'm not going to be able to watch said movie. Um, I was going to say something about reaction channels. I thought it was funny because um, I saw Michelle upload and, or I saw some, somebody screenshot something on Twitter. I don't remember, but people were giving her shit for the video that she did, or maybe it was Citrine Dreams, but she did a whole video, um, you know, oh my, my, the way I approached the video, I still mean what I said, but the way I approached it was so awful and I'm so sorry. If, if videos were coming out about her, she wouldn't give a fuck. If she was getting praise for the way or people were making fun of, like, if somebody reacted to Michelle's videos and they were like, yes, and they were like laughing, like, blah, 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 she wouldn't make a video like that. She'd be like, uh-huh, like. Whoever's praising her, that's what she feels, not just her reaction, show, that's what they feed off. And then if they get criticized, they're like, oh, people aren't praising me for this. Let me make an apology, you know. Also, I don't know if anybody watched um, or gives a fuck because I still watch Trisha's videos here and there. But that she did a sex tape with that guy. Gross, dude. So I, I hate it because I'm probably going to get all fucking um, spam or whatever for... The video, but I was on Twitter and I just saw a snippet of her having sex. First of all, she puts up a big, well, maybe she doesn't. I think she just says she fucks a lot, but I thought she, she always alludes to like, she's so good at sex and all this stuff. Okay. I saw the, she was blowing the guy. And for some reason, no matter how many times I see Trisha's boobs or whatever she's doing, I'm still like, this bitch really isn't doing porn. Like, come on. She's not really like diddling herself on camera. I don't know why it's so 
strange to me. I don't understand it, but, uh, yeah, she was, like, giving the guy head by the pool, and it was so, first of all, I don't know who, and I'm not saying big, like, I don't, I think Trisha, the weight, even if she gains or loses weight, I always have thought she carries her weight in a, in a decent way. For some reason, like, even if she has a gut or a belly, I'm just like, God, that doesn't look that bad. Like, even her in a fucking string bikini, I'm still like, I think I look worse, you know, so I don't understand. Maybe it's because she's always tan, but... She's sucking dude off. He's being so dramatic. He's like, uh, uh, you know, like moving your hair. And you just see like in the corner, if, if it was framed nicer, maybe, but she just has like her gut hanging in the background and her hair is just in the way. So it's like cousin it's sucking this dude's dick. And then, um, I went to Pornhub. That's what I meant by a virus. Cause I was like, I, I just have to see this shit. It was so fucking bad. And I don't, I didn't watch the pizza one. It's just off putting, you know, like I don't necessarily want to see that. And the guy, it's just so bad because it looks like Trisha hasn't, I'm not saying like she looks like she stinks, but she hasn't showered. That's what it looks like. You can tell like she put in her extensions. So they're all over the place. And the dude is a horrible actor. Like I don't, I don't understand in porn why maybe it's, I don't know if I, bitch, uh, I don't think you guys like that either. Porn is porn. Um, and whenever somebody's overacting, it's just like bad. Uh, but it has been uh, 17 minutes. I would like to sit in the backyard for a bit. That sounds weird, but I want to do that. By the way, it's shitty how foundation changes. Like, I know the only reason it looks okay because of the light. I don't know. I don't know. I bought this foundation because I think I used to use this before, back in the day. It's good for dry skin. But this is the foundation, the Physician's Formula. And I always get it on Amazon, but now they're trying to, it was like 11 bucks. Now they're trying to sell it for like 25. Maybe it's discontinued, discontinued, which I'm like, of course, as soon as something works for my skin and I start to buy it, it's discontinued. So I'm going to jump off here. I hope you guys enjoyed my ramblings. Um, hopefully I can get possibly an appointment tomorrow for the dentist. Hope you guys are doing well. Sincerely fucking mean that. Hopefully you're keeping your nerves good um yeah I really wish I had a scale I I don't because I would drive myself absolutely insane but I wish I knew I guess I'll be able to tell maybe if my you know if I shrinkage but I just want to know if this is going to work um you know I would imagine cutting out carbs I don't know how you wouldn't lose weight but I'm gonna get off here and I will see you guys in a minute